Good morning, guys. Let's see, uh, this is annoying when it happens. It triggered yesterday, but uh, I may buy it anyway, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet.
Let's see. Damn, CVAC is gapping down. Oh. Covered it yesterday. I didn't want to hold it overnight with the strong close. There are a lot of potential setups, depending on how uh, nicely they break out. Someone mentioned BNTX. Yeah, I like it. It's a very good setup, BNTX. It's a perfect one. Made a big move, pulled back, had an orderly pullback to the 50-day, and now it's building higher lows as it's surfing the 50-day and getting tighter and tighter. Tesla, I sold 100 shares yesterday and another 100 shares pre-market. I couldn't resist. I know I said I'm not going to sell a single share until 2000, but it's a big move. It's a very big move, and I'm up like 20, 25% on it. So, you know, I just sold tiny, a little bit more than 10% so far. SC, I'm a bit unsure. Like this could very easily pull, you know, have, you know, trigger and then pull back. But it could also easily go to like 200 or something. So if I'm gonna trade it, I'll do small size. Or not like full size at least. Okay, markets are open. Let's see what we get here.
like everything triggered out of the gate. Well, it's all about finding the best quality setups. Amazon looks awesome. Very slow moving stock though. I bought some SC. It's an earnings trade. I just bought 16,000 shares of this Twilio. Looks like a pretty decent setup.
selling some shady. Just locking in some. Of course, you guys should follow different sell rules. Oh, looks like his SC is going to stop me out. Damn, so annoying. The entry was yesterday. Couldn't it break out on earnings yesterday?
W looks interesting. Snapshot, yeah. I added a little bit to W. So a lot of potential setups today triggering. You, you, you know, it's just pick and choose. There's so many, so many of them. I'm just trying to get into some of the more liquid names. You know, stuff like Peloton, Huya, Wayfair, Amazon, Twilio, TT, yeah, maybe. Pinterest is trying. SDN is potentially trying. Twitter is trying. Oh, Beely from yesterday. Having some follow through. Very nice. Holy shit, JD. Now, what was that bullshit out of the gate on JD yesterday? Who, who was the idiot fund that sold their stake? I'm telling you, no one knows anything. These funds, they have no clue. Some, some, big, some big fund, or the big, I don't know, but someone sold a big stake out of the gate yesterday. Morons.
T-Doc is annoying. I had big size on this day here. I had to trade, right? It just had to go down and stop me out. So fucking annoying. SC is back near highs, of course it is. <laughs> oh man, had to stop me out. Huh? Amazon looks amazing for those who. Oh well, actually, it's a very slow moving stock but this is like a five star setup You will swing half, but you shouldn't have uh, you shouldn't have sold any. Like if you bought JD yesterday, you should still be in full size. You have to wait for day three at least to sell any. You're doing it wrong if you already sold JD. Don't don't follow me. Like I I have a lot of other stuff going on. I I have longs, I have shorts, I have different uh, you know methods. You gotta follow the methodology I'm trying to teach you guys. You should still be full size on on JD. I just doubled my Pinterest position to 60,000 shares. Also moving my stop sire. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more exposure. I have a lot of nine. I've, I have 20 and a half million in long exposure now. I, I'm just not going to do anything more. I'm very happy. And also I took this NVAC short. Uh, I got stopped out first and then I re-shorted re when it took out the lows. Um, I'm pretty much done for the day. I am heavily, heavily long and somewhat short. Now it's just waiting for follow through. 
Will we get follow through? I don't know. Netflix also has a good set setup. Facebook has a good setup. Uh, but these things are obviously very, very slow names, so you know, you know none of you should trade them, but uh, you know, but you should be able to identify those setups. Tesla going down. Well, it's kind of extended, you know. There was a day trading short setup in in this thing, but you know, I'm long and strong. We'll see. I think it's gonna go to 2,000 plus, and if not, I'll get stopped out. No big deal. No biggie. I'm trailing the 10 day. This Carvana looks interesting too. It's like W. It just won't go down. It just keeps going up and up and up and up. Oh shit, Twilio, is it? Oh my god, it stopped me out. Oh, this sucks. I had a very big position in this thing. Oh well. That sucks. Took a $70,000 loss. Got some strength out of the gate and now with weakness. So, you know, the worst thing that can happen in a bull market, you get a strong open. That's the worst. The best thing is when you get a weak open. You don't have to deal with these manic buyers and these gap ups. So fucking annoying. And CVAC, I should have stayed short, I guess.
I guess I should have stuck with Amazon. <laughs> Slow but uh, strong. Yeah, Carvana and W. Beasts. Peloton too strong. Why couldn't I uh, buy one of these that didn't fade? I also bought uh, added to Peloton and this one is fading too. What the fuck, man? Really? Oh no, uh, Pinterest. Pinterest is fading.
Thinkorswing used to be a great platform until uh, who bought it? Was it TD Ameritrade? I think they bought them like 2013. Since then, it's pretty much downhill. How oh, anyone still uses Think or Swim? It's just you know you, you probably should get something better. I know everyone started complaining once uh, Ameritrade bought them. It used to be really really good. In the past seven years, Think or Swim has been just piece of shit. It's down all the time, it's slow, it's buggy, it's, you know, like everyone's always complaining on it. It's been like that for the past six or seven years. And people keep using it, I just don't get it. <laughs> like I used to have Think or Swim, uh, but then they, uh, like I had, uh, I, I didn't have any money with them, so they closed my account. Uh, after I think after Ameritrade bought them, they didn't want anyone using it for free, unless you had money in your account. Yeah, uh, Interactive Brokers, I've had it for like five, six years, never been down. Not a single time. And I also use Sterling Trader. That thing has never been down either. Maybe once in like six, seven years, five, six years. Exactly. TC2000 Trading View Interactive Brokers. And then you need either Dust Trader or Sterling Trader. Or maybe, you know. Depending on, you know, like IB is good, but there are other ones too that are, you know, like never down. No, I don't use DOS anymore. I think Sterling is good. The only thing I care about is like, uh, like I don't really care about any functionality. I just want you know to be fast and stable and easy to use. The fewer functions, the better. The, f the, the less functionality, the better. The, the more functionality, the less money you're going to make. There's an inverse correlation. So who, yeah, so who looks great. Kumu, what about Kumu? I know, he's just, you know, there's something wrong with Minervinia. I, I just, there's something is off. The guy has been trading since the 80s. He's, he's one of these market wizards. He should be worth a couple of a milli hundred million at least. And he's pu then he's pumping this piece of shit micro cap stock to his followers. It's something is just very off. There's a lot of people like that on Twitter. They claim to be having, you know, these extreme returns and yet they have these subscription services. Like, something is off, you know. Something is very off. But I do recommend his books, though. <laughs> having said that, I do recommend his both, both trading books. I think they're great. How he, you know, how he has not managed to make money of his own method, I don't know. 
I don't know why he needs to pump illiquid stocks on Twitter or in his paid service. I, I can't figure it out. Maybe I should ask him. I'll probably get the Insta blocked. Yeah, he advertises non-stop. It's disgusting. He's figured out there's a lot of clueless people out there and they're gonna do, you know, they're gonna pay anything because they're desperate, right? And, you know, I could do that too, but I just don't give a shit. I'm not that desperate to make money because I already make a lot of money from my trading. But there's always that backup plan. Yeah, the problem with QQQ is, you know, it keeps pulling back to the 20 day and now, you know, we're already like really extended. It's a tough, kind of tough swing trading market. Like once you get start, start getting good setups, that's when uh, Q, the Nasdaq is ready to pull back again. That That's why it's kind of hard to swing trade when the market has been going off, up for months, months, months. You know, it's much easier when you get a pullback to to this rising support like 20 or 50 day or 100 day or something like that. That's It's much easier because usually you get a lot of follow through. Now, you know, it's been this like this for a month or so or over a month. You know, there are selective names that have been working really nicely, but you know, like like today, you know, like we got a lot, bunch of good triggers, but a lot of them faded. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like T T T D, no Twilio, was a really good setup and it faded. Some of them are. Oh, Pinterest actually took out House of the Day. Okay. Forget everything I just said. Oh, there are things working. And W is working too. It's kind of hanging out uh, at all time highs. I just wish I had bought some Carvana. Mm. It, it just, you know, this thing just can't even get below the 10 day. It looks like square too. This thing is also just surfing the 10 day. But again, follow through. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like this JD, this thing I have, re this is my biggest position. I think this thing could go to like 80, 90 bucks. Also raise my stop to yesterday's intraday low or that uh, second pullback low. Looks like I'm going to get stopped out of my SPG, which I bought a couple of weeks ago. Revenue numbers, you can get them on Finvis, you can get them on Coifin. There's a lot of free sites you can get those kind of numbers. Macro trends, is that any good? Uh, let's look at SC for example. Are you kidding me? What? Let's look at Shopify. What the fuck is this piece of shit page? You can't, you can't even search. Revenue and earnings, okay. I can't figure this site out. You can give it some time, okay? <laughs> I I don't have patience. <laughs> if I'm a watch guy, no, I'm not. I don't read SEC filings. If you trade large cap stocks, you don't have to worry about those the offerings.
Yeah, there was a lot of data on macro trends. Uh, I'll, I'll have a look later, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> I need to put a stop on this SPG piece of shit. These bottom names, they, they don't have any follow through. Like all the airlines are and the cruise lines are fading again. And also this SPG, which is another bottom name. BA, NCLH, RCL. Except for this uh, RCL, this cruise line, I don't know, this thing, it, 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 it's a very powerful setup here for now. It's probably gonna fade with the others, but I don't know why that, that one is hanging out, uh, hanging on that strong. Really weird. Okay, Pinterest and W. I hooked those ones, looks like. Uh, Twitter. This one tried to break out and you know it couldn't do it. this Amazon. It, if it was a little bit faster, I would have bought it. But the ADR is only 2.6. But this is what a five star setup looks like. This is a high tide flag. This is what it looks like. Memorize this. If you, you know, the, you could just trade one setup and it would be the high tide flag. You're going to make so f much money. You don't even know what to do with it. LNX. Uh, what's the ADR on this thing? What's the ADR on XLNX? It's a very choppy stock and with a low ADR. Hyper shards. What's this? Hmm, kind of like this site. Hyper shards. Sh shards. Interesting. GRWG, mm, yeah, could work. I am getting a little bit excited about this Etsy 
for later this week. And AMD too. These things are also getting really tight, building potential high tight flags. Fay. Um, no. No, it's just a random stock that happens to look, you know, it, no, it's not good, it's not good. It's not a good setup. It's not a leader, you know, stick to the momentum leaders. It's just a shoppy random stock that happens to have found support on the rising 20. But it should have never lost the gap here, okay? This, this stock should be up here or here, not down here. BLDP, BLDP broke out yesterday. Today it's minus five stars. Yesterday it was three and a half stars. VIX, yeah, VIX, I'm watching. It looks good. I think VIX looks really good. It's building higher lows, relentlessly building higher lows, and that's this tight range. Found support on the rising 50 day. Why can't I draw a chart here? I think it looks really good. Hopefully it breaks out tomorrow. I would like this thing to go sideways today. Blink. No. Pets? Absolutely not. Pets it looks like shit. This is not absolutely not a good setup. It's below all the important moving, like, you know, like the 10 is sloping down, the 20 is sloping down, the 50 is sloping down. Like, it's not surfing. It should be surfing the 10, 20, or 50. Spotify looks good. Spotify found support on the rising 50 and now it's building higher lows here and it has a range. Spotify looks like a very good setup. Hopefully it breaks out tomorrow or the next few days. Calex. Uh, yeah, Calex, kind of like someone mentioned it yesterday. The guys, this is, wow. The, I mean, like, if I could trade this thing, uh, I can't. But, look, guys, this is like a, it's also an earnings winner. This thing had a huge, huge earnings. Big beat and everything. This is like, this is five star. Five plus. When this thing breaks out, it's going to go to like 30. It also had a good setup here. And also that could set up here. But this is really good. Like if it breaks out tomorrow or the next few days, you know, that's good. Who mentioned uh, this one? Calex. Yeah, at Saibu, you're going to make m many millions over the next few years. Isaiah. Um... It's just a micro cap pump stock, but you know, it is setting up. Uh, yeah, if it breaks out in the next few days, like it had a pop, pulled back, like it's a former runner, but it's more like if someone, you know, if it PRs or if someone starts pumping it, like this thing has no natural order flow. Like there's two types of stocks, right? Like you have like these micro caps and nano caps and like this, generally this sub $5 stocks, something like Isaiah. Like, they, these things, you know, they go when they're getting pumped. Like, there's no funds or institutions buying these things, right? This is all retail. While something like, I don't know, Shopify. Like, th this is like funds buying every dip. This thing dips. Like, this thing has a reason to go up. Like, this, this thing is not getting pumped on Twitter. Like, it's too big to get pumped. Like... Every time it dips, institutions start, you know, uh, uh, accumulating it. That's why you get these higher lows. 
something like uh, you know Twitter, right? It's just surfing, building higher lows. It means you know it's getting accumulated. But something like Isia, like it's it's just you know it needs to get some. Now someone needs to start pumping this thing. There there are no funds sitting there and accumulating on dips. It's all retail. So you you know like if you get a setup, you get a setup, but you have to understand there's pretty much two different types of stocks. And then there are stocks that are, you know, a combination, but <clears throat> I generally prefer these types of stocks where institutions, like something like Peloton, like, like you, you can clearly see, this is the footprint the institutions leave, right? Every time the stock pulls back, you know, it starts building higher lows because there's so many buyers in this thing. They just don't let the stock to go down. RKT, yeah, it's a recent IPO. Yeah, I actually had it on my watch list today, but um, you know, maybe, maybe if it breaks, yeah, you know, it's starting to build higher lows. Uh, like new IPOs, you have to trade a bit differently, but um, yeah. Do I consider any pre? Of course, I do. If the stop is gapping up or down 10 or 20 percent, of course you have to consider that. <laughs> of course, absolutely. You have to be very aware, and you also have to be aware of of uh, what's happening in pre-market and after hours on your existing positions. You, you you can't just you know shut down your computer once the market closes. You know you gotta be there. Especially at least uh, for the first 30 minutes after the open, after the close, you gotta be there in case you know there's some you know bad news or something, and it, it gaps down. You know you gotta get out. Same thing with pre-market. You can't come to the market like one minute before the market opens. You gotta be there. You have to check your your portfolio. Are there any you know gaps, gap ups, gap downs? Obviously, it's the gap downs you have to worry about. Since I'm not really recommending any of you to short. Do you? Yeah, it's breaking out today. Yeah, it looks good. It, yeah, this is a good setup. I like it. Do you is good. I actually had it on my watch list too, but it's just too thin for me to trade. Yep, UAVS. It's one of these pump stocks, but um, yeah, it looks good. It does look good. This is very headline driven and you know they are uh, rumored to have some contract with uh, Amazon and uh, I actually traded it back here from like 60 cents to 5 bucks or something on the stream. That was pretty intense. Um, but yeah, this yeah, it, lo it looks good. There are buyers coming in, like there's no funds accumulating it, but there are like retail, you know, just all type of traders, you know, there are people, people are buying up this thing. It's getting tighter, absolutely. It's a good setup, very good setup. I am UX. Uh, um, uh, nah, I don't know. Maybe a few, a few more days. Yeah, contract any day now. Yeah, where have you heard that before? <laughs> when do I prefer, uh, when do I enter? Well, as soon as it starts breaking out of this range. Well, as soon as it starts taking out this range, that's when you enter. You know, if it starts breaking the 2150, 2160, that's when you enter. Or if it gaps up a little bit, like above this range, then you wait for the opening range highs. And you can use the one minute, you can use the five minute, maybe even the 60 minute. SpaceX. A, B stock, it's not a scan. It's just a watch list I build manually. Like A, B stocks, I have three watch lists, A, B, and C. And then I have a consolidated A, B stocks where I watch, you know, pretty much scan for all the stocks that are up. These are just the growth stocks or, or you know, stocks that have some kind of a story or growth and momentum. Just a combination of those things. Either 
a growth story or you know some kind of story and momentum it's very you know it's just have to build it manually a a b are the best ones and then c stocks these are like a lot of these are like low ADR stocks. I actually have C uh, or a JD in my C stocks. I have to put it in my B stocks, I think. Or, or actually, I'm going to put it in my A stocks. No B stocks. It's a little bit low ADR. But something like CRWG, you know, has great earnings, has great momentum, but it's just too thin for me. Now has great earnings, great momentum, but it's very low ADR. So it, you know, these types of stocks go into the C stock watch. Sometimes you get good setups that I trade. Uh, like FTCH, another one, great momentum. Actually, I don't know why this thing is in my C watch list. This too should be in my A or B watch list. Um, Something like ZI, this thing has no momentum, has great earnings, no momentum, and low liquidity, so it's in C watch list. RH, great momentum, uh, but it's very slow. So everything, you know, that's either illiquid or has uh, slow momentum or slow ADR, I'll put it here, but it may still have like a good looking trend or good earnings. The best ones go into my A or B watch list. Arlo, uh, yeah, maybe later this week. When to exit, I'll, I'll sell LAC when it goes to 30. This is a position trade for me. Oh, the markets are fading. I can I can see this from uh, everything is <laughs> all the stocks in my watch lists are fading. Obviously, the day you get all the good setups, that's the day when everything fades, right? That's the day. Um, that's the day markets pull back. I love it. Ah, oh, Pinterest too, man. This thing wants to go, but the market is, uh, you know, the market is pulling it down. W looks great. RC. Ah, random piece of shit. I don't see anything here. Well, NVAX, my short having some nice follow through though. Damn, I forgot to add to it. I was gonna add to it. I forgot to do it. There was a good ad spot when it uh, bounced and failed at VVAP twice. I think it could go back to 120 or something. Yeah, Tupperware, it tried to break out yesterday, uh, but it's still valid. Uh, or never mind, if you bought it yesterday, you actually got stopped out. Uh, but yeah, it, it may be, it's still building here. A couple of days, it's, you know, it, it will be like a five-star setup.
<laughs> Tupperware was a five-star setup in 1970. You're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are still are people still buying Tupperware? Like what the fuck? Is that still a thing? CRSP? No, it's not a broken setup. It's intact. It's building higher lows. How, why would it be a break, broken setup? It looks good. In a couple of days, you know, if it breaks out, it's going to be great. 50 days starting to catch up. Looks good. It looks good. Exactly when everyone's mom used to sell it. Imagine still trying to sell Tupperware. There still has to be people selling Tupperware. Oh, I need to say, like, what? what? Are you still having the same business model? Tupperware. We can sell there. Host a party. Wow. Is that still a thing? Tupperware parties? <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's only women. Why? Why are there only women? What a sexist company! <laughs> Reno invited you to a Tupperware party. <laughs> oh. hey, did you go, David? Empowering people. Oh, are you really empowering people? Be the eco warrior. Be the eco warrior. Buy our plastic. What a bunch of bullshit. It's all bullshit. Oh well. Host the party. Hey, I, I, I'm gonna host a Tupperware party. Where do I sign up? Connect with a rep. Zip code. Oh, this is just for the US. Do they have Tupperware in Sweden? Oh, they have. <laughs> Uh, the position cannot be found. There are currently 21,000 Tupperware parties. Are you kidding me? There are five Tupperware consultants in Stockholm. I need to find a consultant. Are there any close to me? There are, uh, yeah, there are a few close to me. <laughs> oh man! Oh, look, there's a guy. Look at this guy. He's a Tupperware consultant. <laughs> oh, he must be the only guy. Imagine putting Tupperware consultant in your Twitter bio. Oh look, it's dropped like by a thousand. Since I went to this site, the amount of Tupperware parties has dropped by a thousand. And now, now wait, what? And now suddenly there, there was a thousand new ones? 
Something is fishy here. I, I don't trust this. I don't trust these numbers. They now have dildo parties, <laughs> do they? <laughs> Tupperware dildos. Yeah, well, now I now that I've done fundamental deep fundamental research on this company, I like it more and more. I I think there are uh, twenty two thousand reasons for this thing to go higher. Tupperware, and, uh, do they have any? How do you see how much traffic they have? Um, how do I? Uh, Tupperware catalog? They have a catalog? Wow! Where, where can I order the catalog? Really, it's only only North North America and Australia. Everything else doesn't even re register. Look, uh, if these if they started hosting dildo parties, it's a damn bagger. It, it's gonna be. A, I'm gonna become an activist investor. I'm gonna buy a buy a stake in it. I'm gonna overthrow the management. I'm gonna launch a new product line. Tupperware is going to sell dildos made from recycled dildos. It's going to be the most eco-friendly dildos ever. Solar powered dildos. Tupperware customers prefer catalogs to online shopping. Yeah, it feels like that way. It, it feels like 90% uh, of the customer base is, uh, are, are going to die natural death within the next 10, 15 years. They, they really need to uh, come up with something new. Can, can I try the dildo before you buy it? Uh, of course.
What's the growth? Uh, I doubt there is any growth in Tupperware. Yeah, well, <laughs> they have solely double digit revenue decline. Oh man, this company is in trouble. This company is in big, big trouble. I mean, just in the past three years, this thing was down like 97, 98%. Now lately it rebounded a little bit, but or when I say a little bit, I mean 600%. But it's still down like 80% the past three years. Oh boy. Look at this thing. This thing was a highly shorted name back in uh, 2016. This was a highly shorted name. And now look at it. It's down like 90% since. Those were smart shorts. Those people knew what the hell they were doing. Doyu looks really good. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. If trading, if I blow up from trading, I'm either I'm gonna sell trading books or I'm gonna and actually, you know, I'll 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 start trading. I'll start selling trading books and trading courses, and I'm gonna become a top Tupperware consultant. I'm gonna have two jobs. Why have one job when you can have two jobs? Life hack. Oh shit, I got stopped out of SPG. Oh, don't tell me this candle here was all me. Oh, please. Oh, it fe oh, I hate New York Stock Exchange stocks. I really hate those. Uh, SPG. Uh, oh, yeah, well, I had 40 cents slippage. Wasn't, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I had my order at 65.25 and I got filled at 64.85 average. But I, let's see, what are my lowest execution or uh, uh, fills? Oh, I actually got filled a, hundred, a couple of hundred bucks at 64 bucks. Man, I hate New York Stock Exchange stocks. They are the worst. Those those guys are really out to get you sometimes. Never on Nasdaq, but happens quite a bit on New York Stock Exchange. I don't know why. Yeah, it must be the specialists. Yeah. Those fuckers. I hope they all become uh, obsolete over the next few years. They can see all the orders? Oh, that's why. Because the algos, they can't. Like, if I put a stop, right? Like, I, I don't think the algos can see the order, right? It, it, it's in the platform. And it executes when the price triggers, right? Shouldn't it be like that way? <laughs> Specialists? Yeah, they will be the Tupperware consultants. Now this zoom, like you can see the zoom this is called like a megaphone pattern. Like this is the opposite that what we are looking for, right? We want to see something like this, not something like this. This is like the opposite pattern to what we are looking for. Uh, but maybe next week, 
Whoa, I don't want to reroll. Okay, uh, maybe next week. If it if if it can go sideways, pull back to the 10, 20, go sideways, you know, another week or so. Wait, they report the 31st. They report next no two Mondays from now. Uh, you know, there there we could have a setup. But this thing is just you know undercut the 50 day and straight, you know, right back to the new highs. That's a sign of strength. But to get a new setup, we need some tightness, okay? It needs to go sideways. It needs to go sideways. Otherwise, there will be no good setup. What the hell is this? GR and Q. Yeah, SDN is going. It looks like a pretty decent setup. Yeah, looks like, looks pretty good. BGN, someone mentioned it yesterday. That was a good setup. It was, you know, lower ADR, but you know, again, you know, s stick to the stocks that have at least five or six in ADR. Um, BE, this is really working. It popped. Like we bought it, it went straight up, pulled back a little bit, found support on the rising 65 EMA on the 60 minute chart and a 10 day moving average on the daily chart. And now it's having another leg higher. This is how stocks move. They pop, pull back, go sideways, have another leg higher, pull back, go sideways. That's just normal action. That's, that's, this Etsy is starting to look intriguing. I really like the tightness. Wow, this thing is so tight. And it's also one of these relentless stocks. It's just, it's up over 300% from the lows, March lows, and it just can't pull back. It's just unable to pull back. Uh, SSR on candy, uh, yeah, because it was up down 10 day, uh, 10 percent. That's why SSR triggers when a stock goes uh, down 10 percent on the day. But if you bought this, this this thing on Friday when it triggered, you should still be in it. You should still be in this stock. It just found support on the rising 10 day. You know, this is normal price action. Just because you buy a stock, there's no rule that says it has to go straight up without any kind of uh, pullbacks. Sell the news. Yeah, they had some kind of presentation. Doesn't really mean anything. Oh, well, I guess it does, but you know, th that's what setups are for. There's always something going on in the stocks. There's no way you can just track all of it. Wait, SCC 201, short sale restriction? Well, what is SCC 201? It's just a regular uh, to, uh, SSR, right? Oh yeah, okay. Tesla 2000, yeah, uh, I uh, yeah, it looks like it. I'm you know, this would have been a million and a half dollar trade now if I had gotten full size. Yeah, again, these two days here prior to the announcement, that that's what fucked it up for me. Like if the stock had been like in the 1400s or so before the announcement and we have got you know then I would be in full size because then it would have gapped up somewhere here and broken out 
through the range much earlier and I could have taken more sides. Now, you know, what I was afraid of was that it was going to get the rejected at the like the 10 or the 20 day moving averages. That's the, that's the problem. Where did you enter on Tesla? I entered low 1500s when it broke the range. Uh, only third size because, you know, it was already up quite a bit from the lows of the day. But yeah, well, it's a big trade. I, I can't complain, but still, you know, third size is a third size. And I have to check. I think I'm up like half a mil on it. I need to... My computer just died. My laptop just died for some reason. I have some battery issues on it. No. There is no reason to put stocks on a blacklist. Absolutely no reason. Like there's nothing wrong with Twitter. It's still intact. The long, you know, it's still in lag. It's relentlessly building higher lows. Okay, it's not as tight now as it was coming into the day, but it still looks really good. And when you have a couple of failed breakouts and the stock goes sideways, builds higher lows, the setup just gets stronger. It makes no sense putting, putting something that increases its uh, odds of success on a blacklist. It just makes no sense. Absolutely no sense at all. It's like when I bought Livongo. Livongo here, back here. Right? It looked like a really... This was like a six-star setup on a five-star scale. Right? I bought it. It, it failed. I got stopped out. But it, then it reset. Kept building higher lows. Kept building a better base. And here again, failed breakout. I don't remember if I bought it here. It wasn't as good of a setup. And then you know, kept building higher lows. And then, then you got this real breakout after you know it had gotten tighter and tighter. You know, like it makes no sense putting this thing on a blacklist after a couple of failed breakouts. This setup just got stronger. The stock doesn't care that you got frustrated with it. It really doesn't. You have to take the setups as they come. Yeah, Facebook looks good, Netflix looks good. Amazon broke out already. What's Google doing? Yeah, Google looks decent. Microsoft, what's this one? Look, all the ma mega caps are acting really, really well. Like, there's, like, they're all acting well. Like, the market is, it's fine. All right. Uh, it's getting really slow. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else today. AMD, look at this. They found support on the rising 65 EMA. This thing, you know, you can just see the buyers coming in on every dip, getting tighter and tighter. Those are the clues you have to pay attention to. And Pinterest, well, this thing looks like it may want to stop me out. Unfortunately, I got stopped out of Pinterest. That half size I added. Oh, I love these stocks, man. The slippage. Is it a nicey stock? Of course, it's a nicey stock. Why? Why shouldn't it be? What the fuck, man? Where did I get filled? I got filled. Uh, 92 almost 40 cents slippage are you kidding me i 
I got filled as low as 3518. Really? That's me. 3518. That's me. I printed that. This is I, I created this candle. SPG. SPG. This is what happens when you trade size. I created this candle. The nicey stocks are fuck, fucking frauds, man. They should shut down the nicey. Move everything to NASDAQ. Defund the Na New York Stock Exchange. That's what they should do. Yeah, I, I lost like 20, 30k today, 40k, ah, not 40, but around 20, maybe even 30k, just on slippage. I love it, it's just, it's just great, great feeling. And I don't even have that big of an account, imagine trading with hundreds of millions, how the hell am I be, how, how the hell am I gonna trade when I get to 100 million or 50 million, like it's gonna be so hard to trade, so hard. My notes, they're just from like the earning stuff. It's from MarketSmith, the fly on the wall, but you can get it for free on like Seeking Alpha, the earnings numbers. A lot of, it, a lot of it is from Twitter. Just basic news and earnings data usually. I'm selling some more BE here. A hundred mil? Yeah, there's pr probably no reason to trade. You could just invest. There's probably no reason to sit there and, you know, swing trading. It's, 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 you, it's gonna be impossible to swing trade. But I guess, you know, like position trading of like the weekly charts, that's what I would have to do. And only focus on like these uh, very liquid uh, higher price names, stuff like, like Amazon, Google, Tesla, Facebook, Microsoft, stuff, Adobe, you know, stuff like that. I, it, it's not gonna be. I know it's impossible to trade off the daily chart with that much money. Like, you know, it, it's just gonna be impossible. Like my tradable universe right now, it's just so small. It's like 100 stocks, 150 stocks. Like if I put together all my scans and watch list, I, I get maybe 150 stocks. That's what my uh, tradable universe is right now. And actually it's less because I'm, I'm, I'm using a little bit too low volume criteria in my scans. I should use, I, I should increase it to like 100 million, 120 million, but I use 80 million. So my tradable universe is like in the very low hundreds out of all the United States stocks. Yeah. I'm gonna become an activist investor. Tupperware, I'm looking at you. Actually, like back in March lows, Tupperware was 90% lower. So the market cap on Tupperware was like 68 million back, at, back in early, mid-March. I could have bought double digit percentage stake in a company and become a legit activist investor. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. If it goes down to a dollar again, I'm gonna buy a stake. Eco-friendly dildos. Solar powered, eco-friendly, recycled dildos.
dildo Maggie. <laughs> yeah, R Redfin tried to break out yesterday, right? Yeah, R Redfin, <clears throat> you know, had a fade breakout, okay? He tried to break out, pulled back into range, and still building higher lows. The setup is intact. Like, if he tries to break out over the next few days, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's a good setup. If anything, the setup is stronger. It's a bit too thin for me, but... You know, that's what you have to look for. Carvana. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I should have pulled but uh, I should have pulled uh pulled uh bought some. I should have pulled the trigger, I didn't. Oh well I got W. I'm happy with W and wait wait. Um yeah, Pel um which one was it? Uh, wait wait. Pinterest. Wait, I removed it from my long um I still have like I, I got yeah, stopped out of the starter but Oh and it's the same thing that happened with Shady yesterday too. Like, what are what are these shakeouts? I've gotten in so many shakeouts the past few days. What the hell is going on? Like, I took like $85,000 loss out of the gate on Shady. It just went straight down. Found support. And then I had to rebuy it higher. And then it went straight up. It's like, what the hell is going on? Guys, are you front running me? Is, is it you? Is it you guys? Are you all collectively working against me? It's David? Yeah, David. Yeah, SC too. <laughs> SC, yeah, SC is uh, now, you know. Looks like it wants to go back higher. Maybe I'll rebuy it. The volume is all, yeah, I mean. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. David had an amazing day today. <laughs> you support my breakouts with 100 shares. Yeah. Wonder why. I imagine that 20, 30k in slippage went straight to David po David's pockets. He pretends to be my friend, but then he's taking money when I'm not looking. <laughs> he's still the fund. Stream sniping a trader? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I need to get. Yeah, I need to support myself. I'm gonna get a OnlyFans page. I'm I'm only gonna post pictures of sexy uh, uh, setups. It's gonna be short porn. SC, what kind of setup I'm looking for? Uh, like a range break on the 60 minute chart. Like later in the day, if it starts breaking some kind of a range, you know, something like that. I don't know. Again, this is not a conviction setup. It's up a little bit too much, and uh, you know, but it could work. This is type of stock that you know it could go to 200 if it wants to. But you know, it's a big move over the past few years. You're not likely to, you know. It's like fastly, right? It had a great, no, not fastly. Wait, wait, what's this? I don't even remember what the stock was. Whatever. A short porn. Yeah, not that kind of shorts. INFN, yeah, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, if it starts breaking out, you know, starting tomorrow, it's gonna be a good setup. <laughs> yeah, this is not only a, a trading. Uh, 
trading stream. We do uh, a lot of stuff, relationships, we do cars, we do deep fundamental investing, we do activist investing. Um, you know, the, it's, uh, there's a little bit for everyone here. Yeah, OnlyFans. Every day, I'm going to put my PNL on OnlyFans. It's going to be uh, 10 bucks. What do you think about the pricing? Is 10 bucks okay? Is it too much? Maybe I should do 20 bucks. You know, you got to pay up for quality, okay? So every day you can pay me 20 bucks to see my PNL. That's a good business model. Billy's pizza reviews? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's disgusting. Two bucks? Uh, guys, you gotta pay for quality. Pay per view content? You're loading ARKK? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. Tech ETF. Yeah, tech, you know, it's true. Wait, how much is it up? It's up 100, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's more. How much is TQQ up? TQQ up, possibly. Yeah, it's up more. Do, 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 do. All right, I just don't see anything here now. I This NVAC short, I think this thing goes back to 120, potentially. And this one too, like NVAX, I took a $25,000 loss, $26,000 loss out of the gate. And I shorted it in that 150, 150 ish, and first thing that happens, you know, it stops me out. I take a $26,000 loss, and then I have to reshort it. It's like the trading has been a little bit, you know, hasn't been clean lately. Like I remember like March, shape like April, May, June were pretty damn straightforward. You you just couldn't you could do no wrong. You could do no wrong. And now it's a bit trickier. All right. Can I pay for one digit of your phone number? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so, okay. So, let's see. How many digits are there in my phone number? Let's see. I have to do the math. So, 10. 10 digits. 10 digits. Okay. 10 digits. So, you pay... Two bucks for the first number. And for every number, you're going to pay twice the amount. So how many digits did I say there was? Wait, what? Was it 10? Yeah, 10 digits. Okay. So let's do the math. You pay two bucks for the first number. Then you pay four for the second. Plus two times four. Plus two times four. Plus two times. Wait, what? What? What am I doing? Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I already got the math wrong. I need to start from the beginning. I need to get a. This is just. Oh wait, wait, wait. What? Then, sh then you can do two. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Two. Two. Is it this? No. How do you do it, guys? Help me! Help me out here. You don't need to be a math genius. Wolfram Alpha. Fuck. How the hell do? You 
How do I do it? How do I use this? You have to be a genius for you to use this site. I don't want to go pro. How do I use this thing? Up to the left for students. Wait. Maths. I want to know about math. Scientific calc. Scientific calc. Oh, two, ten. So to get my whole phone number, you have to. Fuck, am I looking at here? Only ten twenty four. I thought it would be more. No, we need to do 20 bucks. It's too cheap. Now we're talking, okay? Now we're talking. This is what you have to pay me to get my full phone number. Like, you gotta pay up for quality. What can I say? Ten trillion two hundred forty billion. Or you could donate you could donate half the number of red blood cells. You either have to pay 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 in, in, in cash or or half of your blood. You can choose. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with the math. Guys, you don't know anything about math. I'm gonna show you math. You fucking amateurs. Even I know math. Jesus fucking Christ. You guys suck. Let's do some math. You have tw two bucks. You have, you know... You pay. You have two bucks, so this is this plus this times two, right? And then you just do it like this. Yeah, this is what you pay. This is the correct math, you fucking amateurs. Thirty for forty thousand dollars, you can get my full phone number. No? What do you mean no? I use my my fingers all the time. Uh, breakout. It's usually over a range, like a trend line or something. I can't count past ten because I only have ten fingers. I want. I don't care. Like, no, it has to be in United States dollars or euros. But you can pay me in Bitcoin. But it has to be equivalent of this. Forty k, and I'll give you my number. Gotta pay up for quality. That's why I keep saying it, it's a it's a long time saying uh, of me. I, I've been saying this for ages. Got to pay up for quality.
Oh yeah, I was gonna do the crypto uh, setups. I'm thinking about doing like uh, crypto, uh, like crypto setups tomorrow. I was gonna do it today, but I forgot about it. Uh, like you know, like you know, something like Bitcoin. It's just such. There's so many five star setups on this over the years. Like it's like almost stealing money. Like. There's been so many perfect five-star setups. Like, I mean, there's just so many. Just look at it. This is exactly like 10-day, the 20-day moving averages. You know, it, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same setups as in stocks. L like, look at this setup. Look at this. It's a five-star. Like, look at it's a high tide flag breakout. Like, look, look at it. Right? These are the exact setups I'm teaching you guys. Now, look at it. You see this? You have a big move, pullback consolidation, then it starts building higher lows. You have this range breakout, and look at it. You know, it's the same thing. The same thing. And yesterday, Bitcoin had a breakout. Look at this. A five-star short. Today, it pulled back. And where did it find support? What's this purple line? What was it called? Oh, it's called the 10-day moving average. Look at that. Never heard of it. I wonder what magic that, uh, what what, what dark magic that is. Yeah, that's the problem with Bitcoin. Yeah, well, you can put a stop on it, but you know it's open twenty four seven uh, every day of the you know every day uh, year round. So yeah, I'm long GBTC. No, you can't trade Bitcoin with Centerpoint. You can only do it with a uh, with a fiat portal, like Coinbase and stuff like that. And then there's a lot of uh, yeah wallets. Yeah, are you a wizard? Yeah, I have been uh, called many things, and wizard is uh, one of those many things. Uh, futures? I don't know. Uh, I don't really have. I haven't really looked at much future charts. I don't know. Futures a bit different. I think. I don't. Know. I don't. Know. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna cut the stream now. I need to eat and uh, I'm getting bored. Uh, thanks for joining and I'll see you tomorrow.